Hey guys, how's it going? Got another knife review for you today. Right now I'm going to be taking a look at another Les George VECP. Yes, I know. I now have two of them. Um, the one we're going to be taking a look at today, this one, is another Monkey Edge exclusive. And this is the Les George VECP version 2. Um, as I said, this is a Monkey Edge exclusive. This is the one with the orange backspacer. Another very cool knife. So basically just wanted to uh, go over this knife a little bit and also do a little bit of a comparison between the version 1 and the version 2. See uh, what kind of differences there are between the two. Um, so uh, as you can see it's definitely a VECP. It's got that awesome shape to it. I gotta say, this is one of my favorite shaped knives. It's just a, just a very cool shape. It's got you know a, a very long, pronounced um, handle and a relatively short blade in comparison to the handle length. You know, overall we've got eight and three eighths of an inch um, for the overall length. We have a blade length of three and a half inches, so uh, that leaves about um, almost five inches for the handle compared to the three and a half inch blade. So uh, it's definitely a pretty long handle, you know, to blade ratio. Um, but you know, I don't mind it. I really like the way it looks, and um, I'm definitely a fan of the design of the VECP. Um, it's Thai frame lock, obviously. Really nice quality. Excellent fit and finish. Um, we've got a .150 inch thick blade. So it's a relatively uh, thin blade, as I said in the previous uh, video I did in the version 1.0 um, you know the blades are exactly the same so it's same thickness and everything it's a relatively thin blade but you know it's perfect for EDC you don't need anything too uh, crazy it's 5.6 ounces so a little bit heavy but uh, you know it's, it's a big blade a lot of titanium would definitely be heavier with a thicker blade so I'm sure he uh, went with a little bit thinner blade to kind of keep down on the overall weight. The blade steel, just like the version 1, is CTS XHP. Very good blade steel. The blade is also um, PVD DLC coated. So it's got a very nice black um, finish that's going to wear very well. Uh, DLC is a very good coating and supposedly the PVD uh, method for depositing the coating makes it a very resilient finish to the blade. Now there is something interesting I noticed uh, between the version 1 and version 2 blades. Um, as you can see this is the version 1 and this is the version 2. The uh, finish on the blades are quite different actually. Um, the version 1 DLC coating is more like a matte coating. Um, it's not glossy. Whereas the version 2 is kind of like a shiny, smooth, uh, glossy coating. So it's kind of interesting. They're supposedly both PVD coated DLC. Um, but uh, they look pretty different. This one is uh, more glossy and smooth, while this one is kind of matte and more rough. Um, so anyways, that's just one observation. Um, also, another difference is where the uh, engraving is there. This says George in the CTS XHP. In the version 1, it's actually etched into the blade, whereas the version 2 is more of just like a uh, a stamp um, so that's you know one difference 
Another difference, as you can see here, is the thumb studs. The version 1 thumb studs are very large, they're oversized, um, so it makes it very easy to uh, engage and open the uh, knife. Whereas the version 2 thumb studs are very tiny, and um, I'm going to tell you right now, I prefer the, the version 1 uh, VECP. I do not like the new thumb studs. Um, they make it very difficult to open the knife. And uh, kind of on a separate note, the detent on this VECP, I don't know if it's just mine, is extremely, extremely tight. I can't even, I can't even open it. Uh, I can't even. Sometimes I can, but it just, it just kills my thumb. I can't even open it. That's how tough the detent is. And these uh, tiny thumb studs do not help in the slightest. They are nice though. You can see there, got kind of three little cutouts. It's definitely a, a stylish thumb stud, but uh, the small thumb stud in conjunction with the extremely tight detent on this knife makes the blade absolutely impossible to open one-handed. Um, so that's a major downside with this knife. And uh, I'm going to come out and say that when I originally got this knife from Monkey Edge, I was not happy with it. The blade centering was way off to the left. Um, the blade had actually had on, on this side a couple uh, marks on it where the DLC coating had been rubbed off. So you could see right through to the steel. Um, and also there was some blade play. So, uh, yeah, I was not happy with it, so I actually contacted uh, Les George, and uh, he's a really cool guy. I sent it to him, and he had it back to me in the course of one weekend. So, I think the knife was gone for maybe four or five days, and uh, he got it back to me, put a new blade on it. He centered it back up. It's got, uh, it's nice and tight now. Um lockup is still really good. The lockup on this one's better than the lockup on my version 1, as you can see there. But uh, I guess he didn't really do anything about the detent. I guess, I don't know, because the detent is just as it was when I originally uh, sent it back to him. So, uh, yeah, just have a sucky detent on this knife. I'm not saying that that's with all the version 2s, but maybe just this one. Um, obviously another difference is the backspacers. On the version 2 you have this smooth orange backspacer that kind of protrudes a little bit through the handles or on the edge of the handles here. Whereas the version 1 has kind of like a, uh, uh, a geared um, black backspacer that's flush. Another difference is the pivot screw. Um, the pivot's a little bit bigger on the version 2. And obviously the coating is non-existent here, whereas this one, the version 1, has got a black coating. Also the um, stop pin here is shiny, satin finished on the version 1. And it's got sort of like a... Uh, kind of like a grayish finish to it on the version 2. Um, that's pretty much it for differences. Oh no, the uh, the lock bar cutout for the tension is about a third of the size or a third of the length on the version 2 as you can see. However, it's a little bit thinner so it's more of a a deep cutout, but you can see that he definitely changed up the uh, the uh, cutout there. And one last change that I've noticed is you can see here for the uh, cutout here for the lock bar, 
this side or um, this blade, the version one is smooth, whereas the version two, he kind of put a little bit of uh, scallops here, I guess to give you a little bit more traction. So that's another small change. That's pretty much it for differences between the two. Same specs, same materials, just different thumb studs, different uh, lock bar cutout, you know, back spacers, and um, you know, you got a little bit of a change here with the scalloping on the lock bar. So uh, there we have it. Um, there's both of my VECPs. Like I said. I'm going to say that I prefer the version 1, um, and that's probably mostly because the version 1 I'm actually able to uh, play with. It actually has a normal detent on it, whereas, you know, this one has got a screwed up detent. Can't even, can't even open it. So uh, it's a little bit disappointing, but um, still definitely a cool knife. And uh, that's pretty much it. Not much else to say. Nothing really different between these two. So anything that I've said on the other video um, where I went over my VECP, VECP version 1, it's going to hold true to the version 2, save for the few different things that I, I had mentioned. Um, also, you know, the, the pocket clip, tip down and tip up. And uh, that's pretty much it. So I thank you for watching. If you have any questions about uh, either of these blades or anything of the such, just let me know and I'll get back to you on that. But except for that, thank you for watching and uh, stay tuned for some more videos to come. Thanks.